Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, it has been a long while since I've done a video. I have been sick. Um, beginning of the year, which New Year's Eve, my baby woke up vomiting everywhere. And I mean everywhere. I was just so overwhelmed with it. Then two days later, my oldest daughter had the same exact thing. And I was like, no. Um, and she missed school. She was, she was supposed to go back to school on Tuesday. And then uh, um, she ended up missing, up missing school too because she was so sick. My husband has been sick for the past two weeks. And then on Thursday, I got sick. I woke up with extreme, extreme backache. Um, my lower back was like, like killing me. I had so much pain and then um, I was feeling very nauseated all day long. So I ended up going to the ER at night and they didn't know what was going on. But I had just like, not congestion, but I have like this deep voice, my throat hurts, and I have spit up some mucus a little bit, TMI, I know, but hopefully it's going away soon. Sorry about the light in that calendar right there, this whole ring. I am using my ring light because it is actually pouring rain outside and it is gloomy, so I have no lighting. This video is a planner 101 type video like my planners that I have and I've used um, and what I use with planners and stuff like that. Um, I also have, you're gonna see this exact look because I'm also gonna film the of my how I set up my Erin Condor for 2017. So that one will be up tomorrow, so check that out tomorrow. And yeah, so my schedule that I want to stick by is Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays or Fridays, I will upload a video. So you get three videos a week from me, and that is most likely gonna be my schedule. I trying really hard for that to be my schedule. So, with that being said, let's jump right into this planner video. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I use to really sit down and like plan. Um, I'm not gonna go really in depth with this video, I'm just gonna show you my tools that I really need um, and that I use throughout my whole planning system. I use two planners now. Um, I dedicated one planner to just YouTube so anything that has to do with YouTube goes into that planner but my main planner I do have everything in my main planner at all times so my main planner goes with me everywhere along with a notebook so I will show you everything that I use to kind of organize this brain of mine <laughs> I like to use these which you'll see in my tomorrow's video I use these a lot um, they have been my everyday type stickers um, I got four packs and so far I'm loving the purple and the pink one which are basically this one is a mom one and that's how I use them um, Next things that I use all the time are notepads. Notepads are my favorite thing to use. This one stays on my refrigerator alongside with this one. This one just says accomplish and usually it says today, tomorrow, weekend, maybe never, um, someday and near future. What I like to do with this one is I cross out those days and I put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and then weekend. And this stays on my refrigerator at all times um, and then this one stays on my refrigerator. I also have a notepad right next to my bed which that one stays there and it's just to jot things down. I like so I love those. Alongside with those, I always use the, I have no, I like sticky notes. So I use sticky notes all the time alongside with page flags. Um, they're just easier for me to use. Right now I have these in here. And it's just so much easier to write them down on post-its rather than 
writing them down and then not being able to erase it because I am a control freak like that and if I can't erase it and it looks really ugly it's gonna bother me for the rest of the week so with that I have to I, I use post-its all the time next thing I like to use is a little pouch this one I got from Target which you will see in my Target haul coming up um, and I just have in here a few stickers that will get me by which just a few stickers that will get me by like for planning I have post-its in here I have pens in here um, I have page flags in here so different stuff in here that I need to plan with and then my pens this stays in my diaper bag at all times so that I can have this on the go whenever I need it the last thing that I use all the time now is this notebook it just says follow your dreams and that it was perfect for the concept that I was using it for which is for YouTube so everything about YouTube goes in here any ideas that I have I write out my whole thing so I plan my whole video um, as my December favorites it's literally all planned out the intro the outro the like what I wanted to talk about what my this stays in my diaper bag alongside with my pouch and alongside with my Erin Condren and I use this all the time now we'll talk about the planners we are just gonna jump right in so the first planner that I have is this Kate Spade I got this around September I believe and it just opens up like a zip pouch and it just looks like this and I still have all my Christmas stuff in it because unfortunately I'm not using this planner um, I use it for my notes here and there and I still have all my notes in here that I want I am gonna keep using it it's just I don't have any inserts for them for the monthly or the weekly and so I'm really bummed and I'm trying to figure it out um, how I'm gonna set it up because I don't like the inserts that they come with now with like that all that colorfulness and stuff I just want the polka dot back um, and I cannot find it so it's really bugging me and then I don't want to spend an arm and a leg on inserts for it so I'm trying to figure out um, another route of doing it so if you have any um, suggestions leave them down below for me because I am stumped with it I don't know what to do next planner that I don't use but I have is a happy planner um, I did buy this in I believe June and I used it from June until um, until September and I really I just couldn't really get into it I absolutely love everything about Happy Planner. I love their stickers, I love their inserts, I love everything about them. And you'll see that in my planner from Erin Condren because I do use their stuff into my Erin Condren, which you'll see tomorrow how I do that. But check it out, it's pretty cool, the things I've done with it. Um, they just, I don't know, they were just too flimsy for me. They felt weird in my bag and it's just me. I, I'm used to a coil. I really like a coil and I've had my Erin Condren from since 2013 so it was really hard to change and then once the Erin Condren I was gonna keep this one and then once the Erin Condren came out with the neutral one I was like I got to have it it's so neutral and I love it I am that kind of person I I don't really like color so much if I do it's like a mint color or a light pink color but other than that I don't like so much boldness it's just there <laughs> um, and then the next planner that I recently bought, and it was because I was looking for, I was actually on the search for the day designer. It was in Target, and I could not find it for the love of me, but I did find this one, and it is a polka dot 2017 on it. It has a little strap to hold it. From New Year's Eve to like January 3rd, I was like, dead set on having this as my main planner and taking this everywhere with me because it's just so simple and so I don't know I loved it um so it just looks like this it's a signature planner and it has gold blacks and that you have a folder here and then you have like your add glances um you have contacts and then this was like my monthly what I put in it for my monthly it's very simple and I really liked that it was so simple here you have like this month so you can put down like your work goals, your personal goals, your health goals, your finance goals um, you need to focus on and important days of the month and then this is like every beginning of the month you use that and then 
here is like this week and so you have it laid out for you this week I didn't use that much stickers and it just seemed so simple but yet worked for me it was just amazing I loved it I put my goals for YouTube here and then like my videos that I want to upload and then kind of like briefs next to it what time I'm editing what time I'm filming what time this you know everything's set in this planner so I really love that for this and it's a really good planner otherwise you can use it for anything and I honestly was going to use this just because I had no inspiration to do my Erin Condren um, and I will get back into that in a little bit but for this I really do recommend it it's only $15 and it's really really nice this is my lover <laughs> this is my Erin Condren I've had Erin Condren for like I said since 2013 in 2013 I bought my first Erin Condren I was so excited and I used it so much and then I got pregnant and I found out I was pregnant in March with Aubrey and by April I would look at my planner and I would be disgusted I know that sounds so weird but when you have, like, say when you're pregnant and you have, like, a craving towards something and then you don't like it and you just see it and you get so disgusted, that's how I felt with my, my planner. And every time I looked at it, I could not write in it because it would get me so sick. I don't know why it did that. It just did. And so I never used the rest of the year until I had my daughter and then I, I popped it out and I was like, oh, you know, let me use it. So I used it for the last two months and then that was it. So, I was like not going to get another one and then I decided to try it again in 2014 and I fell in love with it all over again. I used it again in 2015 except I fell out of love with it because it was so colorful and it's just not for me. In July they came out with the neutral one and I fell madly in love with it. But the one thing that gets me, what well, was getting me irritated was first of all this page I don't like. I don't, I like the quote, I like the writing, it just looks too, like, the circle, just, I just don't like the circle. Um, so in January, what I did was I covered it, and I just, I glued the, that page, this page, to the, the back, and I just covered it. Um, I'm kind of figuring out that I'm going to do something different with that after, but I was just so irritated with that, so I didn't do that. Also, what I don't like is, let's see if I can, I don't like this part of the planner. I don't like this print. It's just not me. I personally just don't like the print. Um, for me, I would like something like polka dot. Like, that would have been, like, perfect. Um, other than that, I just don't like the print to it. So, that first page that that you get, the clear please piece that you get in the beginning, I tore that out. I tore the quilt out. And I made my own stuff. So, mine, when you first open it, so here's the, the cover. When you first open it, you have this clear sheet. This clear sheet I got from Michaels. You turn that over and just hold it with a coil clip. And then I have my first page, which I ended up loving. Um, I set this up, so it took me all weekend, and I set up my planner to be exactly what I want it to be, and it is perfect. I'm in love with it. Um, I took out July through December, and then I also added divider. Let's see if I can... I added a divider, which I just glued some uh, scrapbooking paper to it and just made my own divider and it just looks like this so then I ended up adding like um, a habit tracker to it and, and it, I just added into a clear thing a cleaning schedule I laminated a grocery list and then I also added I also printed out these and I found them online and I printed them out and these are daily schedules so all I did was I taped um, the end of my old planner that I had extra paper I cut off that coil and then snipped it and then I put these pages on it so I have these in here I ended up taking out the the folder because I hated the folder it had that print so I hated the folder so I took that out and I made my own folder from the happy planner and it looks like this now and I love it. Uh, I love the way it looks. See, this is more of like a simple type um, folder for me. And I like that. 
So this is my folder and it just carries some stickers and then my stamps. Um, I do have another folder that I'm going to put in here for like mail but right now I'm trying to work out the kinks because it's so fat. <laughs> this is January through December. Imagine when all like everything else is in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe down below. Hello to all my new subscribers. I am so glad to have you guys. Yeah. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video that will be in my Aaron Condren and yeah so stay tuned for Monday Tuesdays and Thursdays because I will have videos for you with that being said hope you have a beautiful Monday and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys